Hey folks, this is Michael Mann with Michael Mann Security Services. Welcome to the Guardian Series. And today we're going to talk about arrest and detainment for citizens and private persons, very specifically security officers in the state of Tennessee. All right, if you want to get a hold of us, you can get us at contact at michaelmannsecurityservices.com. You can get us at scott, S-C-O-T-T, at michaelmannsecurityservices.com. You just give us a call at 615-956-3912. All right, let's get into it very quickly here. Arrest and detainment. So what is an arrest for a private security officer in the state of Tennessee? Well, an arrest is the legal authority to deprive someone of their freedom of movement. And a detainment is to hold a person in custody, normally for a temporary period of time. Now, the reason I've got this up here so you guys can see this is because in the state of Tennessee, or really just for private citizens in general throughout this great country, there is no difference. If I detain somebody, actually I'm arresting them, and there are some circumstances when I can, as a private citizen or security officer, detain. Now, let me kind of go into uh, a little bit more detail because sometimes in training security officers, very specifically here in Tennessee, will be told in um, when they get their initial guard training that they can detain somebody on the property that they're working. So let me kind of talk about that and what that means and really when we can detain. So one, the detainment piece is really for government agents or police officers. It really doesn't apply to the private citizen or security officer. Okay, So the detainment is, is brief and it's cursory, and it applies to those law enforcement officers or government officials or government agents only. And this comes out of a Supreme Court case called Terry versus Ohio. And out of that ruling, basically, it says that a police officer, uh, when they see, uh, you know, someone suspicious or they believe that a person or persons are engaging or about to engage in criminal activity based on reasonable suspicion that law enforcement officer can detain. Now, private citizens can't do that. We're not government agents. We don't have those immunities or privileges that police officers have to include the privilege of detaining someone even with reasonable suspicion. So there are very specific circumstances when a private citizen or security officer can detain, and that's going to be when the person that we want to detain or that we stop gives us consent or when we're going to actually make a physical arrest. So again, the only time that a private person or security officer can detain somebody in the state of Tennessee in general throughout the U.S., is when there's consent to detain, so that person consents to us to detain them, or when we're going to make a physical arrest of that person. So who can make a physical arrest again in the state of Tennessee? Well, again, that's a police officer who has a warrant or who doesn't have a warrant, but they have probable cause to make the arrest, or a private person. So the law here in Tennessee uh, under TCA 40-7-101 very specifically says that we as private persons can make that arrest. And the grounds for that arrest are when there's a public offense committed and the arresting person's presence. So when us as a security officer, a private person, sees a misdemeanor committed in our presence or when the person arrested has committed a felony, although not in our presence, or when a felony has been committed and the arresting person has reasonable cause to believe that that person arrested committed that felony. So the felony doesn't necessarily have to be committed in our presence for the, to make the arrest and or if we have reasonable cause to believe that that person committed that felony, we can arrest them. And of course, if it's a misdemeanor or public offense, it's got to be committed in our presence. So again, the only time that a private citizen or security officer can actually detain is going to be when that person consents or when we want to make a physical arrest based on number one, a misdemeanor being committed in our presence, or uh, when a felony has been committed, not in our presence in any of those two circumstances. Now, we also can use force to arrest, but in Tennessee Code Annotated, very specifically 3911-621, that force has to be reasonable or the minimal amount of force necessary to overcome that opposing force. And there's nothing that says that we can't use restraints because they can be considered reasonable. So handcuffs, flex cuffs, et cetera, security officers or private citizens can use those. And there really is no certification required to do that per state law. 
Okay. Now, what you're about to see is a video. This happened in Alabama, but this is a security officer of a hospital that very quickly moves into a detainment and then, uh, you know, through an arrest, basically. So this woman is upset. We don't hear what happens on, uh, you know, on the video there, but there's an attorney afterward that uh, is explaining what, what occurred. And basically what happens because of this arrest that was um, illegal, was not justified based on the circumstances, the, this hospital uh, lost this uh, suit, this civil suit of this false arrest or, or you know, this false imprisonment uh, based on uh, what occurred. Okay. Subject of a recent lawsuit involving a security guard using force against a woman who was there to see her dying father. It was all caught on surveillance. We talked with the attorney on the case who tells us, as you can see, there was no call for that kind of behavior. It's video you'll see only on News 5. That's when this hits 12, watch him come out of his death. This is surveillance video of Sean Pop, security guard at Mobile Infirmary. This video taken in February of 20. So what you're going to see here quickly is he comes around and he detains this person and it's illegally and makes this physical arrest. So there is a detainment here through the arrest, but the arrest is illegal. He's upset with her. She hasn't broken the law. A misdemeanor hasn't been committed in her presence and there's no reasonable cause to believe a felony has been committed, but he arrests this woman anyway against the counter in handcuffs. Attorney Vince Kilborn says there was no cause for this action. It's not like holding in prison, having a riot. She didn't throw anything. She didn't cop an attitude. She just as a lady wanted to go see her father. She did not break McIntyre the line. McIntyre was there to visit her father, who was dying of emphysema. She had come and gone several times before, but this time, for some reason, Poff stopped her, asking for ID. Poff testified that McIntyre threw her ID at him, but as you can see, that's not the case. None, none of the guards are trying. All right, that's enough of that video. So just an example of how, and again, what happened here. Uh, this hospital is sued civilly. They lose the lawsuit because of this illegal arrest or this illegal detainment because a misdemeanor was not committed in uh, the officer's presence and there was no reasonable cause to believe that this woman had committed a felony. And so because of that, again, the hospital loses the suit because of the uh, illegal actions of the security officer. So this uh, civil process. So again, here in the state of Tennessee as a private security officer, a person, uh, again, detainment and arrest are the same. And we can only detain through consent, so the person consents to that uh, detainment, or we have the ability to make a physical arrest, again, a misdemeanor committed in our presence, or a felony has been committed, and we have reasonable cause to believe it's been committed, okay? Um, and we can use the force that's reasonable to affect that arrest as a private citizen or security officer. All right, folks, if you have any questions, again, you can get us at contact at michaelmanseccurityservices.com, or you can give us a call at 615 nine five six three nine one two and remember it is about prevention not response we will see you next week uh as we continue the guardian series thank you again